Damn it. Damn it. Okay, <sighs> afternoon classes. These are back to stat based choices. Okay. Yeah. How many? So how many days are there? So uh, we do one yeah, full day yeah. and then like an evening, then the next day, and then prom at the What's end of it? that. Okay. Uh, also, you can't go, go into the gym or go to the shop instead. Oh, right. Let's okay. go to the bathroom. You want some boldness? Yes. That day you skipped class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. Of course I guess I some do. people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give zero shits, but you gain plus two boldness. Your man. You notice Zoe with a big uh, grin on the amalgam of chaotic nightmares she used to she used to form on her face. It's adorable. Oh my god, that shirt is amazing. Senpai, teach me. <laughs> Mudhip, hey, guess what? My latest comic, Who Watches the Watchmen, Have Sex, just got published in the Weird Tales magazine. <gasps> I work so hard on it, and it's finally out there, in the world. Nothing can ruin this moment for me. Oh, I cunt. <laughs> no, I cunt McDougal's back. That sounds like challenge! Is this the internet, though? This is the international pre prince of season two. Yeah, but I think so. Leonard, come on. Why do you always have to slide into my DMs? Slide in moods. <laughs> Because I must shed light on injustice wherever it arises! Oh, the ah. irony. What about world hunger, global warming, income inequality, human trafficking? We're monsters, we do perfect human trafficking! You did not let me finish! What is he? I must shed happen? light on injustice yeah. wherever it arises! In the world of fandom specifically. Yeah, yeah. He's meant to be a capo, which are monsters which are well known for abducting small children. What? Yeah. Okay, right. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, that's what cappers do. They steal yeah. small children. Is that yeah. right? No, I missed all of that. I was confused. The the little guys, the monster he is, is a monster known for stealing small children. Yes. Oh, right, okay. Oh. Cool. Which I guess is why they gave him a pedo vibe. Yeah. <laughs> it is not cool! Suddenly! It's not cool that publishing houses are showering attention on marginalized authors just because inclusivity is hot right now! I mean, look at you! You've got it all! You're purple. You're allegedly a woman. Say that again, bitch. <laughs> you come from a hideous dimension beyond a monthly competition and any man died to be able to associate with my friend. Excuse me? I think come you've, again? Got, you've got his voice actually down. I love that voice for him. But it's all a marketing stunt! What's worse? It's distracting from the real injustice. The liberal media is too scared to discuss. Oh. What about the artists who aren't part of some cool, sexy, unrepresented minority? What about us? How are we supposed to get recognized? I want to be famous. <sighs> if I was to entertain all the BS you just said, I'd say, I don't know, maybe through a combination of talent and the numerous connections and avenues you have available to you as a privileged member of society. That you I don't defend. have any! How would you use the P word around me, Missy? If I'm so privileged, then how come I come and I'll be so bad on Fuck Island hasn't been published? I'm, I'm, hmm. Hmm. I read hmm. ahead of it there, that was. <laughs> Sounds like a great book, to be fair. No, I mean, because you spend all your time <laughs> complaining about non-existent obstacles instead of getting better at I art. I can give you a copy. <laughs> mm. Perhaps you have a point. 
<sighs> oh, no! Wait! I forgot! You're a girl, you have cooties! That means possibly you can't possibly be my fault! Much more likely that the entire industry is biased against me! Uh, looks like there's only one way to solve this. Alfred! You're way right. ahead of her. You have to select the only option that makes sense. Right, um... For years you possessed the gem of G Gataro, a powerful artifact capable of raising four people from the dead. Why not resurrect four great artists and ask their opinions, or... Use the... Ka Cal Arts? Cal Arts? Use I the Cal Arts sort of sorting hat. Oh. To determine the objective value of the two comics. Hmm... I can't really see my stats. What do my stats say? You're the top here. Yes, but the yeah, fucking there's things discard in the... things in the way. <laughs> in the in the way. Yes, and then when I put it to the smaller one, I can't still fucking see yeah, it. Can you read them out, <laughs> Tom? So you got smarts nine, boldness six, creativity nine, charm nine, uh, seven, fun four, and money six. It could be baiting you. Could be <laughs> top. Let's go for top. I like the idea of the top one more. So smart. <laughs> so smart. Thankfully, thankfully, smart is the one one of the two you're best at. Yes, I can see that one because it just says nine. Yeah. You were saving the gem of Gatoro to resurrect your family in case they all die tragically for some reason, but this just seems as important. Yes. You're Get reaching to the nether realm and summon Velasquez, Goya, Picasso, and El Greco, four of the greatest visual artists of all time. Yes. Oh, hey. I recognize some of these guys. Picasso helped me design my lair of me mental anguish, along with MC Escher and David Lynch. <laughs> Sounds like you should probably hey, raise Zoe, says Pablo Picasso. Me. Long time no see. I heard you had Fuck some art for us to look at. <laughs> we have one piece of art, mine, and one piece of trash, hers. Who are they? You mean here they are? Fuck! <laughs> Read. I fell into my own trap! Hmm, says El Greco. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Furring his brow at the paintings. What sort of art is this? You seem to have placed numerous titillating images inside of tiny boxes. The best kind of image! I do not know quite what to make of this, says Goya, holding up Leonard's piece. But even to my untrained eye, this one appears to be what we refer to in the art business as a complete turd. I'm gonna tell my mom. I don't know what I'm looking at either, says Picasso, but I like how you put everything in little squares. I have a thing about shapes. Hey. Personally, says Velasque Vel 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 Velasquez. Velasquez. I was right the first time. I find Zoe's piece pleasantly reminiscent of Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mediated by hints of magical girl manga and the unbeatable squirrel girl. All of which also influenced my own work, as you can clearly see in my famous paintings, Las Meni Meninas. Fuck! Leonard tries to tweet angrily about the, how these four dead artists are part of the liberal establishment, but it doesn't work because they don't have Twitter, only Instagram. You gain plus two creativity and plus one smarts from hanging out with Whoa. all these famous dead painters. I'm smart boy. <laughs> Mr. Gizdate! Um, if I do go to the shop, do I still get an interaction with someone, or just the shop? It's just the shop. Okay, um... Can you read me my top three stats, because I can see the bottom three. Your top three stats are smart, which are nine, creativity, which is also a nine, and your charm is a seven, but you also have seven money. Did, did you miss boldness out? Say again? Tell me smart, creativity, and charm. Four, how can you guys see it? Because I've got ultra-wide monitor. <sighs> Alright, so... Nine four nine seven four seven. Yeah. All right. Um. Let's go to the. Go outdoors. That's where you go for fun. I'm gonna go to the shop. Go to the shop. Okay. Mm. Hey, last night I read this article on how money causes pocket cancer in the long run. You don't want to get pocket cancer. Quick, give me that dangerous money you have in your still healthy pockets. Um, so you have perfect? fake badass tattoo, creativity poster, you're too poor for a penguin mask. 
Oh, damn. Uh, you can buy a tampon used by the former plod, plod queen, Christ. prom queen. You can buy a PR agent, fake Latin accent, Russian novel. You can get a gift. There's this. And you're too poor for cocaine. Oh, God damn. How much is it? Oh, it's a tenner. Um, it's a tenner? <laughs> that is a cheap-ass cocaine if it's only a tenner. Tens. Yeah. And it's um, regular flavor as well. Aw. That's probably why it's a tenner. How much are those sunglasses? They are five. And I believe they, they give you, like, a lot of fun. They are so, Josh. I did not, but I'll have them. You want the sunglasses? <laughs> yeah, I want the sunglasses. I can see you wearing them in real life. I you have sunglasses that shape. You went up to nine fun. Like oh shit, well, I got five fun from that. Yeah, that's not... Eh, nothing All right. better than the smell of money. Well, actually, there are many better smells, but you know what I mean, right? I have to do that somewhere like It's that. my turn! I don't know what to... Um, I can't be bold. I no. might have to... I don't know who, uh, whose bud I'm trying to touch. I also don't know what my hypnosis book does. Yeah, but what? Is that what... what? Uh, oh, I... you got that in the thing. Yeah, I, I picked a gift and that's what I got. It must have moved one of your things. That's up. I didn't see it move any of them, but fuck it. I'm gonna go to the auditorium. My god, I look fabulous. Oh, yeah. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, you can't help but feel that you're not as good as the role requires you to be. There doesn't seem to be any ordinary way of getting yourself there. But there might be an extraordinary way there. You summon the devil, one of many, to, and make a deal to enhance your creativity just a bit. You gain plus two creativity. You also lose three of your three. You also lose three years of life as the. Uh, yeah. Let me try again. You also lose three years of life as your end of the deal. But who cares? They weren't happening in game anyway. Uh, oh, I was gonna say what? Suddenly, you heard the elegant gurgling sound of water Aww. trumpets. Miranda's about to issue a royal decree. <laughs> I, Princess Miranda van der Belt, grant you permission to speak, speak casually with me for a short period. You're welcome. Incoming! Fuck yeah, you're awesome. You're awesome at speaking casually. Let's do this. There are short sentences. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, this voice is about to change, I'm just telling you. <laughs> now that we're speaking casually, I really wanted to tell you about the end, about the event of the season. No, oh, not prom. I mean the event of the season for poor people. <laughs> <sighs> I mean the Royal Winter Surf Party. Mir Mirandatory celebration Mirandatory. festivity of surfly service. <laughs> My surfs and I are total BFFs. I, so I've decided to throw them all in the... I mean, a party to celebrate their lifelong the mandatory service to the Royal Vanderbilts. And, I, and since I love myself so much, this party must be the absolute best. I spare no expense. Okay. <sighs> I don't know how little that fun is. <laughs> can you not? Can I make? Can I make the figure over here? No, no, no. That's not the reason. <laughs> the reason is that means a bit more in the box. <laughs> So, I'll have my surfs build an underwater grand hall for the celebration. It should only take about 12 days of non-stop back-breaking labor. But, plus we'll need decorations for the party. So I'll have some surfs get dressed up and tie themselves to the walls. So cute. Um... I might go for this one. <laughs> we'll see. I'm already there. I don't know what you're Uh, head start. <laughs> and we don't want any of my surfs missing the party if their family members get sick. So we'll have to issue a decree. Surfs are no longer permitted to have families. <laughs> I am the most generous princess in all the land. But of course, I don't want you to think that I'm spoiling them. So I'll need your mind control glasses. <laughs> Classes. Oh, so just make sure we don't have any surfs insisting that they value their families or anything dumb like that. You hand over your mind control classes tape to Miranda. She's so good at controlling you, it's terrifying to think what she'll do with an actual mind control powers. But who cares? You stand this watery bay. <laughs> <coughs> I'm just so excited. <laughs> I feel oh, I feel like being really quiet now singing. <laughs> Suddenly an adorable little eel pops out of Miranda's purse. That is an adorable eel. I'm not going to... Yes! That's a great idea. Princess Miranda, let's sing. 
Miranda starts belting and the eel starts singing back up. Wow, this eel has shockingly great harmony. Do you remember now? <laughs> <laughs> the seaweed. The seaweed is always greener in a democratic state, but my loyal serfs, oh my love, exceedingly high tax rates. <laughs> Under my rule, under my rule, surf things no better. They serve me forever. Now go eat your gruel. Is this an Under the Sea parody? Yes. Under my rule. Oh, no, it's... <laughs> what a charming little tune. Who knew that monarchy could be who could sound so fun? Miranda <sighs> bows while you clap enthusiastically. Yay! I don't want to do him any. <laughs> well, I don't know what voice it even was. What was it? Can someone <laughs> can someone give him a good Hispanic accent? Hey, wow, Miranda! <laughs> You're amazing. You're amazing. <laughs> the prettiest singing voice in all the wild world. That's not what I meant, but Perfect. it works. <laughs> okay. Speech I know talks. right, Manuel. <laughs> My execution serves made sure that no one in the whole country was a better singer. Now let me introduce my song, surf, Mr. Feel the Eel. Oh, pleasure to meet you. I'm the luckiest eel ever because I get to help Miranda plan the winter surf party. That's right. Of course, I need my surfs to do most of the preparations for the party, and I'll be extremely consumed by the planning process. The burden of leadership falls upon royalty after all. For example, I'm going to do the difficult mental work of deciding that there will be drinks at the party. Now that I've done the first half of the work, <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave you two to decide what kind of drinks and how we get them and who's going to pay for them and all the rest of the planning. <laughs> you are so, so smart, Princess Miranda. We'll take it from here. Yay! Leave this to you too, because I need to go recline in a velvet sh chase. Yeah, chase. Chase, chase, and gaze out of the window longingly. <laughs> oh wow, me! What an amazing opportunity! I can't help but feel like his eyes are staring into my soul. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what an amazing. He also looks like him in the bomb corner here. He kind of looks like a sock puppet. He yeah. does. Oh, <laughs> what an amazing opportunity to steal your soul! <laughs> oh God, he's got a knife! <laughs> Oh, For the death of the princess! Oh Jesus. Wait. This what? went Undertale real quick. <laughs> no need to act. No need to act. Con no need to act. Continue the charade, comrade. The tyrant is out of earshot. You know what? If that's like broken English, then the Hispanic <laughs> thing works. <laughs> that's almost so confused me. My brain wanted to correct it. Yeah, yeah but that's what it says, so. The Vanderbilt serfs have united together in hatred after our years of pain and toil. We shall finally send the princess straight to the depths of David Jones's locker. That let your loathing boil to the surface as we plan her demise. This foolish party she has planned without will be the setting of our assassination. I can't ever feel like I've kind of dropped on on something I don't want. I need to kill her. <laughs> yeah, I'd kill her at the stage. I just don't want to and... do that voice again, Josh. <laughs> kill her. And while I do not... I... Right. And while I cannot what drinks fill the pond for, be sure not to partake, I will add a massive dose of poison to the beverage. Ensuring that the, of all the princesses guards will be deceased by the time the party is through. The revolution is here! Viva, Viva la revolution. revolution! I take my leave, comrade. May you dream of... May you dream of the end of tyranny. The end of the monarchy. The end of Princess Miranda. <laughs> Just as Mr. Eel, Feel the Eel is swimming away. Wait. How is he swimming? You're not underwater. Didn't anyone tell this eel the laws of physics? Miranda returns. I'm back and I've had a very full life and you know, it's been quite... If it has to end, it has to end. <laughs> <laughs> that's what gazing is so exhausting. 
I assume that you've finished planning the drinks. Think fast, it'll break Miranda's heart to, to know her serfs are plotting to assassinate her. But you can't let her die before prom. She's the only one with a hookup for an underwater limo. Drinking is overrated, Miranda. You can't have drinks at your party. Or do you want your serfs getting ideas? You know what? Nowadays, cool kids only drink the latest, trendiest Fanta flavor, Poison Antidote. <laughs> oh, I don't know which of these I like. Oh, which do you like? I don't oh. know because I feel like none of these are the stats that I have good skills in. Well, what are you saying? Are the you sure you don't smart. know Miranda to die? Say again, Josh. The second one's good, like smarts. Or maybe creativity, actually, shit. Uh, yeah, Ooh. that's not your problem, smarts. And I don't know. I reckon one of them might be charm. I'm... Yeah, I think the top one's charm. Fuck it, I'll go for it. Shit! <gasps> Bold. Miranda's going to die and it's my fault! <laughs> oh. One down. <laughs> Eight, seven left. I can still bang the computer. Oh, fuck. <laughs> but if there are no drinks at the party, what will I throw out to my throw onto my serfs to show that they're my royal affection? Usually, if one of the surf pleases me, I'll throw a glass of Chardonnay on them. It's a metaphorical dousing of royal approval. However, no. <laughs> Sorry, her face changed. <laughs> However, if one of my surfs... <laughs> 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 You forgot to fill your paper, Mike, Mike Wazowski. And if one of my serfs disobeys me now. If one of my serfs disobeys me, I punish them by dumping a cup of Sauvignon Blanc right on their naughty heads. It's symbolic. Why you should have been Palpatine? Ah, uh, because of the face. <laughs> should have been, the fish should have been Palpatine. We would have killed the tyrant. <laughs> it's a symbolic soaking of my righteous anger. I guess if there are no drinks at the party, I can toss my throwing, my throwing silverware at them. Wait, you have specific throwing silverware? Do you not, don't, don't you do all have throwing yes, silverware? Do you not? No. <laughs> Miranda throws a cup of white wine at your face, but you can't tell her that if it's a Chardonnay or Sauvignon Blanc. Oh. Damn your unrefined palate. Now you'll never know if she's happy or pissed. You'll lose two charm and one smart. Shit. Yeah, I fucked up. Uh, Reiner. Pass. Hello? You're, yeah, you're hey, still hey. here. Class. You're going to class. Mm. That day, you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense and dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. Exactly. You gain plus two smarts. Polly seems really excited about trying a reverse <laughs> Romanian Wilkinson with you. Damn. And the only thing you need you have to do is to get all the needed supplies. Which would be fine, except you have no idea what any of them are. Luckily, you've got a few spare minutes to try and figure that out. You do a quick search on your phone because you assume the internet must know something about this as long as it's related to any weird sex fetishes. Hmm, <laughs> nothing. While trying other keywords, you do spot the coven looking over at your phone. How did I read these voices? One of oh. them was Russian. Oh, Russian, just yeah, Russian. What? What? Could it possibly, could it possibly be that they know so about the Cross reverse Romanian the Wilkinson? No, they're always bitching so much about saving the world. They would never have admit they are into the weird kinds of sex fetishes. Maybe you're not searching hard enough on the net. Maybe you're letting your pre prejudices I blind you. Know. It's a hard word to say. There's not much more time to lose here. The solution is clear. Uh, you're taking online search in a very short sighted way. You need to come up with an unexpected search term that will point you in the right direction. How I got through my dissertation. You use your people skills to get three witches to admit what they know about it. So, I mean, I feel... I feel the bottom one's like a charm over the top one feels like a smart, doesn't it? I don't know if the top one's a smart or a creative answer. Yeah, I'd, take, I'd go creative. I think the bottom one's either bold or charm. In other words... Is the bottom the top one not smart? It's easy. It I know be. you've been creative, come but... come up with unexpected search terms, which says yeah. makes me think it's a creative thing. And bottom's probably charm. So yeah, we're gonna go with the bottom one. Oh. Uh, even though I think it's 
I think I've gotten two shit ones there. But yeah, go. So charming. Yes. You use your refined persuasion skills with the coven, which includes techniques such as repeating, tell me what a reverse Romanian <laughs> Wilkinson is to the point of exhaustion. Oh, it's... Uh... Okay, okay, we might know what a reverse Roman Wilkinson is. That's not Russian. There's three people of them. I'll it's, think it's also the Kappa. Yeah, isn't this Leonard, Leonard that you're doing? Yeah. yeah. Fuck off, Leonard. Wait, wait, okay. <laughs> Fuck off, Leonard! Emotion, but no feelings. Okay. But we know of some of saving the world. No, I can't. I, I, I. Go back I'm to Russian. Russian. Yeah. What we know of saving the world. So, you see, we need penguin masks, models, and, and killer guacamole. We sure Valerie was selling penguin masks in the shop of the day. Don't think we have kill or glock for you. What kind of pubs you think we are? Ah, ah. Hmm, we totally have bag marbles, bro. How you keep the marbles, we'll never mention this, okay? Or we send friends middle of the night, okay? Bye. <laughs> Nicely done. In the end, it turned out to be exactly like that old toy commercial jingle. Marbles, marbles, you'll never have enough. They're perfect for booby traps and super weird sex stuff. Huh, these marbles yeah, smell funny though. Bit. Maybe they're already used? Have I just got anal beads here? Possibly. At first you feel like that's not okay, but then again, you're about to get into some really kinky stuff. So who are you to judge? Your mind is open and your excitement grows. You gain plus two creativity and plus one fun. No. Oh, yeah. That weekend, something happened to dun, Giz dun, Date. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so some shit's about to go down. What's a rad monster to do on the weekends? Only hang out with the absolute raddest gals in the absolute raddest place, the glorious mansion belonging to your dear spook heist friend, Juan the Small La Magical Latino Cat. But alas, even the best of parties wind down eventually. Man, this party was... This party was the best of parties, but it seemed like it's winding down. Yeah, I can feel the frenetic party chaos joy. Joy energy fading off pretty much everyone at this point. I think I'll head out and... Head out and head out again. If we're counting the snakes, I can't imagine anything else is going to happen here. Holy <laughs> fuck, who's this alucard looking motherfucker? Is this the new interdimensional prince? No, probably. No. Who wants to do this? I will Wait, do Ryan, what? we're already voicing all of these. So... I'm doing poly, uh, technically. Yeah, so it's gonna do one each. Sup, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, typical Dimitri. Call it's, calls Dimitri and I think I'm not Russian. It's Dimitri. And Dimitri's eyes, and Dimitri's hair, and Dimitri's abs. Okay, calm the fuck down. I see a beautiful party is fading into mundane nothingness. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. As you are, uh, you all will ah uh, too. <laughs> Unless you join me to the... Dark side <laughs> to bring chaos and destruction upon civilization. Uh, uh, uh. In which case, the stories of a dark, dark deeds and dark, dark souls will live forever. I don't like his eyes right now. <laughs> <laughs> and you've just given me PTSD by mentioning dark souls. Thank you. I mean, Got I'm you. already dead, but yeah, that sounds kind of dope. This party's a bust now, so. Can I be him instead? <laughs> <laughs> I could dig it. I'm sure there's a profit to be made. In chaos, Zoan. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh shit, I'm wearing a hockey like pants. Are, seems like your friends are, are down for just about anything when they're this bored, including bringing destruction down upon the world. Time to revive this party and keep your friends from being swayed by sexy, sexy Dimitri. I use the ultimate DJ strategy that will bring everyone's attention away from Dimitri's abs and back on the side of right. 
Well, well, hold up a sec. Does anyone notice what's happened to Zoe's face? Yeah, oh god, no! Well. Thanks for pointing that out, though. <laughs> Abs. <laughs> He's not wearing hockey pants. <laughs> But of course, the level of masterful, complex DJing you intend to do can't be done by the hands of just one mere monster. You need your most trusted friend, the ultimate DJ partner, someone touched with consent by the god of party. They call oh, Reiner call DJ oh, I'll DJ ask you because you. she is the DJist of yeah. DJs. They call Mudkip DJ 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 after because she claims to be the a DJer than right. If this who's got, who's got more is, fun. Uh, the problem Not about me. that is Josh is, um... <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Use your memory, I'm... damn it! I have four fun. So it won't be I don't me. think Ryan's good either. I think I've got better than four fun, but I can't remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Ryan is higher than Boring bastards. Because I, I had, like, quite a lot of sevens in there. Right, come on, Ryan. Well, we've lost all three babes to Dimitri. I hope you're happy. Come on, Ryan. We've lost all three of these and Miranda is dead, so there are no girls left. Not yet. Yes, Ryan, you're so full. Oh, you have eight. Yeah, Do Lucas. I? Oh, the way. Look, yeah, Lucas four. Yeah. Hey, you got lucky. You ring up Reiner, who frankly was not only at one the small magical Latino's rad party in the first place because she was already doing rad DJ work over at Juan the tall mundane Jewish goblin's place. <laughs> As you do. I'm sorry. I, I wasn't <laughs> expecting that joke. <laughs> But Reiner is, ba is a badass friend and is over at the smaller, magical Juan's place in no time with all her sick DJ tools in tow. Oh man, Reiner, did you just bring the sword of DJing Destiny? Oh my gosh. I thought it was sunk way down at the bottom of the ocean of Lake Treble Bass. Look. <laughs> you know what? It works. It's fine. <laughs> Anyone in possession of such a mythical artifact is okay in my book. Back the fuck off, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> and you're okay by association for choosing Reiner. As such, the two of you get down to business. No! Stop that! Don't judge. Indulge in secret DJ magics. Uh, join the dark side. But his sexy, sexy pleas fall on uncaring ears because you and Reiner have already begun unpacking your DJ shurikens. <laughs> which you hurl through the air with precision and somehow music also, I don't know. <laughs> you draw five pentagrams made out of quarter and half notes on the floor with a feather of songbird in your own blood. Finally, okay. you stand behind the podium, suffice with the divine energy of the rituals you've just performed, pulsing with potential. <sighs> and press play on Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Oh my Mama. gosh, yes! Easy come, easy yeah. go. You follow this with Mr. Brightside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming out of the void and I've been doing just this. <laughs> <laughs> and finish off with a sensible opus by Eric Prides and Ace of, Ace of Bases, It's a Beautiful Life. And I'm not that this. That tip jar is overflowing, and I assume I'm getting a cut for being generally fierce. Stop this! Stop all of this! All this music it, it, it gives me such feelings. You play Wake Me Up Inside oh, by Evanescence and Dimitri gently and dramatically yeah. weeps. Please don't. Oh Christ. <laughs> it makes me remember a time when I too was walking up inside. No! I can't wake her. Dimitri disappears in a puff of smoke as you and Reiner keep the, the sick, sick party going all night long, earning you both plus two baldness and plus one creativity. Hey! I don't know why I thought you said baldness for a second. <laughs> Everyone chooses an activity. Um, skydiving. Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> Watching paint dry. I was gonna say dogging, but okay. I think you can. 
Player order is decided based on how weird yet interesting your next Tinder date would be if it revolved around doing this activity Tom, together. Tom wins. Yeah, Tom, Tom wins. Won. Tom wins. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say, Ryan? The paint drying. I honestly would give you second. Really? <laughs> That's weird. No, I'd give Tom first and Ryan second. It is pretty weird, but it would be interesting. Imagine you get some nice like, That's the one and... thing I'm, that's making me go like. Oh, weird yet interesting. Sorry, I probably just said weird. Yeah. yeah. Weird yeah, yet interesting. interesting. Which I say, I'm still first. <laughs> yeah, you're still first. Yeah. Uh, you, I would. I, I would honestly prefer the skydiving date second. Yeah. Yeah. Can I change my answer to Tinder? No. <laughs> still last. <laughs> <laughs> And we're back to classes. Place, oh, oh, fuck. I'm definitely getting a day. Hmm. See it. Right. I don't know whether to double down on and just be smart and charming, because I'm pretty sure this assassination plan is just going to fail for me. Oh, that. yeah. Which one of you's got the offer to Romanian thing? I don't. Thing. Wait, wait, what? Is Romanians? That... The Romanian. Remain that reverse Rockin Romanian working Oh, that's Sorry. Ryan. Oh, that's Ryan. Yeah, so Ryan me. needs to go to the shop and buy that penguin mask. Yeah. Which, how much was it? I don't Come know. On. I think he's got enough money. Seven, he should have. Yeah, he's yeah. got seven. Yeah. Because I could afford it with seven. I'm going to go to the bathrooms. That day, you skipped class, intending to spend the term in the bathrooms. As I hiccup mid sentence. But you encounter three wild hyenas on the way there. Who the fuck runs security here? Anyway, you subdue them with the help of your hair comb. God bless the monster scouts and all their idiotic scenarios they prepared you for. By the time you get to the bathrooms, you're totally gained plus two boldness. Around the corner, you hear the sounds of princessly singing and eelish miraculous, hey. which can only mean one thing. <laughs> Josh's favorite thing. Is that Sailor Moon? <laughs> she kind of looks like Sailor Moon, yeah. Oh, Mr. the feel of the eel. I'm just so excited for the winter surf party. I could... See? I like how he's holding a maraca with his fishtail. <laughs> same, it's the same way how he held his knife. He's still staring yeah. into my soul. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Oh, Christ, the cold surf's not to fish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I guess I was going to say that I'm so excited I could burn down a medium sized village, but singing is a great idea too. Let's do it! I prefer the second, the first idea. The Little Monarch's Book of Etiquette clearly states murder is one of the. I don't, eh? I don't know. <laughs> Josh? I don't it's, I don't know the tune for this, pal. Um, oh, oh, you, sir! Oh, you have served me through and through as your feudal lord. If I get bored, I'll kill and replace you. I don't know the fucking tune. You give Miranda and her murderous eel a standing ovation. You are already standing, so technically you just started clapping, but it still counts. Jello, I didn't even see you there, fellow sir. You're definitely not a sir, but you're also not about to correct an eel with a hidden switchblade. Where does he hide? <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful singing princess, it'd be such an honor to join you in the magical wonder of song. You know, it's times like these that I want... I so happy that I have serfs. I mean, if you weren't here, who would listen to my lovely singing voice? Me? Listen to my own voice? I don't think so. Sniffle, sniffle. Just the thought of Princess Miranda's song is going to waste. Wah Wah Oh, don't cry, Mr. Feel the Eel. Oh, fuck me. I've just read that right. Okay. <laughs> I know what will make you feel better. Extensive and laborious party planning! Yeah, you're right, princess. That will cheer me right up. I don't know. I knew it. In that case, we're missing one critical thing for the winter surf party. Activities! 
Unfortunately, be your murder. This will likely I'd fucking hurt that. This will likely <laughs> be the only party no, no. my service will ever have a chance to attend. <laughs> so we should make it as fun and memorable as possible. It'll definitely. Oh, wow, we. I am bursting with ideas, princess. We could play shape. We could play shape, the princess neck. Yeah, that's what that says. <laughs> yeah. Each surf could shave your neck with the sharpest swords. Doesn't that sound adorable? Oh my god, I am not suspicious at all. I love it. <laughs> Everyone will admire how hairless my neck is. I mean, my neck is already hairless, but I get it. If anyone could use their sword on my neck, it would be even more hairless. Or we could... <laughs> or we could dig a special princess bit and fill it with the cutest animals. Feral Panthers, Princess Miranda, you could pet the fluffiest Panthers all night in your special inescapable peep. Um, yes, 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 Mr. Field Eel, you are a genius. I'm so glad I've gone down this hole. <laughs> Wait, no. Oh, we could simply sit you down on your gluttonous throne and read aloud. <laughs> He's got his switch played out. Yeah, yeah his face has changed. About one by one, a list of atrocities and injustice you have committed until Poseidon himself smash you down. Bwah ha ha Down with the Mer Kingdom. I mean, tee hee hee, I love you, princess. Oh, Mr. Eel <laughs> the Eel, you're so precious. Didn't even know peasants could be this cute. Anyway, as I was saying, a butterfly! Miranda abruptly leaves to chase the butterfly. But wait, that means you're alone with... Salutations, comrade. <laughs> <laughs> you have done well to weather the tyranny of the wind a bit so far. But fear not, the day of the demise is past the fortunes. The evil princess is falling into a trap as we, as we, just as we intend. She thinks she's just choosing party activities, but she's actually choosing the method of her own death. Ha! The irony is as delicious as the sweet, as the sweat of the. I, I can't get it. In Mother Russia, yep. didn't have a yep. very good English like classic. Yep. Proletariat. Thank you. Ah, uh, she returns. By Conrad, may the blood of the monarchs sort the earth. I mean, farewell, uh, 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 <laughs> Ah, party playing can be so stressful. But I feel so much better after vivisecting that. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's a f <laughs> What's a fly? <laughs> Fun fact, the most beautiful part of a butterfly is its gorgeous glistening stomach in it. Well. Kinky. Oh, did Mr. Fieldy feel run off again? Well, whatever, his body activity suggestions were just so perf. We can just use one of them, unless you have anything better in mind. She used the word perf, can you let it die? Yeah, please let it die. <laughs> Impress Miranda with a killer party activity. Well, not literally killer. Ideally, you're hoping for something fun, family-friendly, and assassination-proof. Is this YouTube? <sighs> Security game. If you murder someone, you lose. Or you are looking for a game that serves, that serves as the opium of the people. But there is no better opium of the people than actual opium. So a game about smoking lots of opium. Yep, go for the opium. Yep. I mean, opium. I don't. That, I don't know what stat that is. Um, first one I'm just guessing is smart. Well, if, it, if the first one is smart, then that's what I want. Uh, I'm guessing that. I think more creativity, to be honest with you. Uh, well, maybe, maybe. It, it could be boldness, though. I don't know. I don't, if the bottom one is fun, I definitely don't want that one. Because my fun slight. is four. Go for the top one, then. Ooh, creative. creative. Thank oh, God, I'm actually getting somewhere. Joshua? Josh. Oh, no, sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh, that sounds fun. What are the exact rules? No murder at all? So thrilling. Oh, and what about 
just mild homicide. Does that count as an infraction? And how many serfs should be killed for it to count as a full real murder? Uh, the torturing and the other ways of pain infliction valid or does it count as cheating? Actually, if you lose by murder, then how would you win? By inflicting as much pain as possible without actually killing. Intriguing. So many questions. This activity seems so weird and silly. Not murdering. Who would have thought? Ah, uh, lovely, lovely genocide. There's no one being murdered Whoa. around here for more than 24 hours. Unheard of. You gain plus two creativity and plus one smarts for your wild ideas. Here's like date. Um, I have actually figured out a way to see my stats. So. Uh, let's go. go I want to be more charming. Go so gym. you need to go to the gym. Hey. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. At one point, you're about to be eliminated by a player from the other team. But suddenly, you convince him not to throw the ball at you with one of your with a heartfelt speech about the importance of everyone's lives. The player bursts into tears, and you take advantage of that moment of weakness, throwing a ball at him. You lose five mercy, a stat that might be useful in Monster Prom sequel, but isn't now. And you gain plus two charm. In the course of your activities, you come across Vera and Polly hatching yet another scheme. You sneak a little closer so you can eavesdrop. Lesson! This has been a frugal partnership so far in the terms of making people look like imbeciles. But I think it's time we monetize. Take funds, don't buy fresh outfits. Yeah, yeah, fine, whatever. I'm just, I could just use some new things or what, no, things, thongs. <laughs> Let me try again. I guess I could use some new thongs or whatever, but like, I don't know. I don't want to start making people look dumb just so we can make money. I don't want to sell out. Personally, I can't wait to sell out, but you have you have a point. We can't sacrifice our brand. The question is, of course, is how do we do both? Yeah, how do you get rich off yanking people's chains? No. Uh, careful with your choice of words, Polly. What? Chains are a big thing for ghosts. Ooh. Of course. They don't seem to have any immediate ideas. Maybe you can offer a solution? Ooh. Why don't you make um, a phony workout crazy work for Frank Pilates, the inventor of Pilates, or... Oh man, do I have a great prank for you. I call it stealing. <laughs> go for stealing, go for stealing, go for uh, stealing. I don't know. I think one's going to lead me one way and one's going to take me the other, so who do I want? Because my stats, are, I think it's probably smarts and or creativity for the top one, and then fun for the bottom one. Well, or bold. Keep away from mine. I've got further. Keep away. I would yeah, say Polly's the bottom one is more Polly's bold. crazy. Yeah, I don't want crazy. She uh, hasn't done want... nearly oh. as many drugs as she has in the past this time. Some no, no. Alright, we'll go Pilates. Okay. Pilates. Oh Fuck. my god, that's so Fuck. good! You can make up a bunch <sighs> of ridiculous exercises, like tongue squats and dick crunches. And encourage people to post selfies of their workout success. Let's see, one week subscription to our parietary exercise tracker for one dollar. $49.99 for every hour after that. I think we might actually turn a profit on this one, Pale. And hey, if a bunch of people get stronger dicks and tongues in the process, I'm not gonna complain if you know what I mean. <laughs> You have no idea what you've just unleashed on the world, but these two seem happy with you. You gain plus one creativity and plus two smarts. Hmm. Nice. Senor Mudkip. Go to hmm. auditorium. Yeah, that's where I want to go, actually. The auditorium. The auditorium! Right, no. To oh, shit, shit. That Never day, mind. while rehearsing for the class play, you do a terrific job at acting. You act so hard that some of your classmates in the audience throw roses at you. Seven roses to be exact. Damn. Roses aren't a valid currency or stat in this oh, game. Oh, god damn it. Anyway, you check your converter up to see if this can translate to something a bit more useful. Hmm. Seems seven roses equals two creativity points. Sweet, you gain plus two creativity. 
Yo, Bro, give me jelly. You're rehearsing for the cult and I, and are super psyched for your big number. Shall we dance in the worship of the unholy lords? Mm. You can tell, but you can tell Zoe isn't really feeling it. Sorry, Mudkip. I just really want to get this right. You know, I mean, plays are just the fan fiction of theater. Um, sure. Babe, I'll do anything for you. I just don't know how to get into the mind of a cultist. Well, actually, I used to literally get into the minds of cultists all the time. But that was because back then, I ate their minds and fed off their insanity. <sighs> but that doesn't mean I, got, I don't know and understand them. It just means that they were delicious snacks. I've always been the culty, never the cultist. Fuck. Oh. Plus, some of that was like millennia ago. I'm sure cults have evolved since then. No, I'm pretty sure all cults are the same now. Yeah, it's pretty consistent. Yeah. Funny enough, I've never been in one. Well, lip a bit. Yeah. You know what? Screw it. If I'm ever gonna win an 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 antrelet, wait, sorry, antrelet pixie award. Okay, an antrelet pixie award or trolley. I'm gonna need to go full method. Oh, baby. What's the best way to simulate an actual cultist experience? My dick in your mouth. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Join in on the modern, um, less murdery, more culturally acceptable version of a cult, Gross Fit. I'm a gag. Start playing this free to play slash pay to win mobile game, at which you can only succeed by playing 12 hours a day, tricking all your friends into joining or sacrificing a goat. Hmm. Being awfully quiet over there. Yes, I am thinking. He's debating. Yes. But staring you down. I mean, look at those eyes. Are you very good? different eyes for the. Oh, um... Good cameo there. <laughs> he doesn't watch these videos, I don't think. It's because I'm recording this as a, as like a full screen version, as opposed to just recording the app. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Well, I'm in love with them eyes, so let's go with the top one. John, the modern, less murdery, more culturally acceptable version mm. of gross fit. I don't know what would what would be what would each one be because I'm trying to think of which one wouldn't be fun. Just that some badder. I don't know if the I hmm. I'd say I think the, the second one is creative. Fun, but... oh. That's what I mean. I'm thinking that one would be fun, but. If it's fun or creative, you've got a 50-50 of it being your worst or best stat. No, that yeah. makes more sense, actually. For the bottom one? Yeah, I think it's more likely. Go for, top. go for the top one. Lock it in. So sweet. Yeah! Is that your final answer? Of course. Nothing screams cult like weight loss programs. Oh, yeah. I had a friend who got sucked into that sky body pyramid scheme. So you look great flying. You and Zoe head off to see what all the fuss about is about at Gross Fit. Merely are greeted by Perky Cockrates. Cockatrice. Cockatrice. I don't, don't know what them I would like. Yeah. Uh, I have killed them in the witch. Cockatrice in Same. patterns That's the only reason I know. Oh man. All these people have the same vacant smiles and are sprouting the same basic phrases that is going to be cody as all heck. Mmm, baby. Alright, says the cock... Cockatrice, oh, as the class settles down. Let's start with a nice stretch to get those muscles all warmed up. Ha 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 ha. Batman <laughs> never laughs. I don't know what's it. <laughs> Everyone is doing it at the same time when she tells them, just like a cult, right? Get it? Gross fit as a cult. Now let's get ready to work with weights, uneven bars, megaphones, and treadmills. Now pull out those ceremonial daggers and cut off your twelfth toe and swallow it whole while keeping one eye open and reciting your deepest fears. Wait, what? Feel the power of the darkness consume your soul! You are but a vessel for the word and the word is a vessel for your flesh and mind to dissolve into the vessel of the word. Oh man, I did not realize you meant that gross fit was literally, actually... A cult. This is awesome. I totally get it now. 
No wonder people have so much fun destroying their minds, bodies, and souls in the cult of Scarred. For so many years, I finally understand. <gasps> I'm gonna completely nail this role in the cult, and I, I'll probably go on to star in a cultist line. The cult is on the roof, and Spring Awakening. <laughs> Wait, what? One of these films not like the others. <laughs> you wonder if that joke about the enthusiasm of the Spring Awakening fandom is going to be too niche, but fuck it! There have been way more obscure references in the theater to nerds of people too. Zoe seems pleased as Poisoned Punch, and you gain plus two creativity and plus one. Damn, so creative. All right, while well, well, he's buying shop. some, I'm just gonna go get a drink. I'm not needed here. Okay. So, I go to shop. You go into the shop. Good old Reiner, what's it gonna be today? I want Penguin Man. You are too poor for this! Fuck. <laughs> um, fuck. What was the other things? How much do I need for that? Is it say? It's it ten dollars. You've got Damn seven. It. So I have to spend something, do I? Uh, you don't have to. The gift is free, or you can just leave. Oh, Actually, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. If I leave, place. Say again. If I leave, can I go to a different place? No. Uh, I'll go get the uh, the the mystery box. The what? I'll get the free thing. The gift is free. Yeah, I'll get that. It keeps on giving. Oh Christ! That's you have gotten so all funny. stats down. Well, Lee Caravello's putting challenge. A Simpsons joke. I want a doom, a bone fist. I know, we, I know you love video games, and I asked for the cloak, which one every boy wants. Oh, Christ! Did you get the penguin mask? He didn't. Nope, he was too poor for it. it, so he got How a video game instead, which was an oh, all stats shit. down. Shit! How much is the penguin mask? Te it was ten dollars, and he had and seven. Now and you've bought something that makes you worse. No, he got a yeah. gift. The gift was free, but it was all done. stats down. Oh. How am I supposed to get money? Uh, you go to the library. Oh, uh, right. Ironically. <laughs> Everyone choose a song. Choose your song. Pay it out loud. Sound uh, aside. Wake me up inside. <laughs> uh, don't let the bells end. <laughs> Give me a second. I've just got to look through. <laughs> it's got to look through iTunes. <laughs> yeah. If I had to pick a song, I just picked a song you'd both, you don't know. I mean, I picked one that we've already made reference to this video. Uh, what, what, Slash uh, possibly last video I'm at this point. This must time. Time. God, just this is gonna sound my horrible! <laughs> oh, my ears! Uh, Ailstorm. Okay. Song. Ailstorm by Ailstorm. By Ailstorm. <laughs> oh, is this? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah Ailstorm by yeah. Ailstorm. Play it, your order is decided based on how torturous it would be if after dying you were forced to listen to the song for all eternity. Alright, what have we got? We got Ailstorm. Silence would be the most by Ailstorm. Ailstorm, the sound of silence, wake me up inside and don't let the bells end. <laughs> Like I can't help but feel the ironic the irony of the sound of silence would be. I mean, I think I think the worst one, like the torturous one, would be the. What was it you said, Tom? <laughs> Wake me up inside. Yeah, I think that one. Over. Yeah, I'd I'd have to go for that one. God damn it! I don't want to be last again. No, I, mean, I don't think you'd be last. You probably won't be <laughs> because I think I I'd be okay listening to Ailstorm on loop. Yeah, I would. I'd be nice. I'd be like. So we've got to decide between the sound of silence and don't let the bells end. <laughs> Well, Tom and Luke decide then. I mean, I, I'm, the, the darkness one has the caveat uh, that it's a fucking yeah. Christmas song as well. Ooh. Yeah, I, I want to kill myself all over again. <laughs> okay, so Giz Day. Give me third, please. Rhino. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'd, I'd be more than happy. I'd be more than happy to listen to Ailstorm by Ailstorm for the rest of eternity. Okay, <laughs> I get to touch butts.